Welcome back to Rising Ground Church. Today, the Lord is talking about direction. I felt this in my spirit that this is something that so many of you are seeking, that you are inquiring on the Lord about, and you're saying, God, I need your direction. So there are a few things that um, you need to do that I'll share, but first, I'll share the vision that the Lord gave me. Now, in this vision, when the Lord was talking about direction, then I saw like a compass. This was how the word started to come to me. And God just began to speak to me more and more about it over the next couple of days. And so as God was talking about direction, then I saw in the spirit a person with a flashlight and they were just kind of anxiously and um, kind of, sporadic if you will moving with this flashlight looking here and there but i could see off to the right like over their shoulder was the spirit of the lord and god was looking at this person kind of like why are you doing this and i'm right here and so the lord is saying that to many of you today and i know that that can be frustrating but remember this when god is directing you to a place or to a thing or you know you're seeking him with it then his goal is not to only give you direction but also to elevate you and to increase your relationship with him so god sometimes will have us kind of seek things out but not in our own strength and that's the issue some of you continue to ask for direction while you're seeking it out for yourself Hope you understand what I'm saying. You're trying to figure it out, but yet you're saying, God, I need direction from you. But yet you have this flashlight and you continue to seek and to search it out on your own. And God is telling you that he is right there. Look to him. All you have to do is look over your shoulder and the Lord is right there ready to give you instruction okay now here are a couple things that you can start to do if you feel like you're in that place of needing direction the first thing is when you go in prayer and you ask the lord for um you know what is what is the next step what is the instruction you have to be able to release it over to god Many of you continue to seek it out after you've already asked, and that's also what the flashlight represented. You continue to seek it out after you have already asked. So there is no space, there is no room for the Holy Spirit to come in and to give you the answers that you're searching for. So when you go into prayer, then you're asking God for that specific um, set of directions or insight, clarity, whatever. And then you say, God, I surrender this over to you. And then you give it, you give it some space to breathe, give yourself some space to breathe. Okay. And then the next thing is this, if the thought comes up again of, oh, I need direction. I need to know what to do. Then this is what you tell yourself. I've already asked the Lord about that. And I am trusting him for the answer. Now, the key to that is because you've made the space within your heart, in your mind, in your spirit to receive the answer, then you can rest in knowing that the answer can come to you. A lot of times we block the answer from coming to us because we're constantly saying, I need the answer. Back to that vision, God is right there with you. So why do you keep saying you need something that you already have? Why do you keep saying that? And it's because there's something that you're not allowing yourself to see. I want you to take notes on this or either go back and, and play this again, okay? Why do you keep asking for something that's right there? Because you're not seeing it in the spirit. You're not seeing it. And so even say, say this, okay? Say, God, help me to see with my spiritual eyes what it is that you're showing me okay so those are three just very practical simple things that you can do to start to release that place in your heart so that so that you can receive the direction that you truly are searching for remember this god is not uh keeping something from you simply because he doesn't want to give it to you 
that wouldn't be God. That's not the nature. That's not the character. That's not the heart of God. So anytime that you're seeking something like direction and you're not receiving it, then there's something within yourself that you need to check on and to see, have I cleared the space? Have I surrendered it over to the Lord? And am I constantly saying, God, I'm making myself available to you to receive the answer? Or are you constantly saying, I don't have the answer. I don't know what to do. Because if that's what you're saying, then all of that that you're speaking out, then that's what's returning to you, okay? So be mindful of your words. Be mindful of your heart position as you're waiting for the answer and surrender it all over to the Lord, okay? I love you, family. I pray that this word blesses you and I speak that you receive the direction, the clarity, and the insight that you need when you need it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.